Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. It is your boy Bitcoin J again here with Bitcoin Daily. Today we are doing a little market analysis. We haven't done one in a few days. Um, got the wrong camera on. I meant to be zoomed in so you guys can see me. Um, but yeah, so so uh, I haven't done one in, in about a week. So wanted to do a quick little market analysis for you guys. Um, you guys already know. Look at this shirt. It says it all. So let's jump right into it, guys. Um, now let me switch the camera back. Boom. Put myself over there. My bad. This is the second time I do this because I did I did the first video with my mic muted. So anyways, um, yeah. So uh, looking over the top uh, currencies right now, as you can see. Wait, this isn't right. Let's refresh this. Here we go. I was like, wait a minute, this isn't right. All right, so the price is at 10,236. As you can see here, uh, it's been mostly a green day. Nothing too crazy, but mostly green over here. Ethereum at 350, um, XRP at 24, Chainlink at 12, up 5% today. Bitcoin Cash 226, Polkadot 469, it's up 8% today. Uh, Binance 23 yeah it's been it's been uh, overall been a pretty green day here as you guys can see um, if you guys you guys already know over here uh, make sure that you check out our newest video this was yesterday um, how to find the perfect trade entries uh, basically what we go over in on that video is support and resistance entries guys very 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 vital to being a profitable trader um, and as you know, we always do a uh, question of the day where we do a giveaway once we get 30 likes. Come on, guys, let's get up to that 30 likes. So uh, let's let's jump into Bitcoin, see what we're seeing right here. Uh, as you can see, the price is at 10,230. Um, this is we're in the daily time frame right here. So just taking a look, kind of looking at the the you know longer term picture. You can even go back a week to the weeklies um, and see kind of get an idea of what we're looking at you know what I mean look at this over here it's very similar to what happened over here last year as you guys can see there on Bitcoin um, so I'm hoping that we don't drop down again like we did here um, if we were to continue dropping we can we could get back over here to the 7k range if it were to follow what happened last year remember this drop right here was due to corona um so so this drop here was the drop was really to about seven thousand uh six thousand range and then we started going back up and then when the whole corona uh pandemic thing happened that's when it dropped all the way down here um and then we've been, we've been you know taking off ever since um and now it looks like we've hit this top which is the same top we hit back here uh last year so uh, let's kind of zoom into here and see what we see. Let uh, let us go like this. All right. So as you guys can see here, we have our Fibonacci retracement tool open because um, we, we've been kind of looking at these levels here. Uh, as you can see, uh, it started off over here. That's when the takeoff started. Um, and it basically topped off at around 10,000, I mean 12,500 area. Um, and it started off at around the 9,000 area. So, um, so we're looking at these levels right now. As you can see, we broke through everything and we just dropped all the way down to the 9,800 9, area. Um, and we're currently being held up by the 10,000 support. So in this area, we have the 10,000 support, which is the main support holding us here. Then we have the Fibonacci 9,800 level. All right. So those are two supports that we're uh, looking at. And as you can see, we've been in this range for the last few days. What's that? One, one two, three, four, five, six. So six days now in the same exact range, right? Let's zoom in even further. All right. Um, so now you could, you guys can really see this range real clear how we've just been kind of bouncing back and forth right here. So if you're looking to get in a trade, then uh, I'd be looking to enter around this range, the 9800 range, 98 to 9900 um, and try to ride that up 
you know, and you would have your stop loss below 9,800 uh, if you're looking for an entry on this support. Um, if you're looking to for a breakout entry, you probably want to be. Uh, it's a, it's a it's a little risky because um, you'd you'd be you'd be wanting to look over 10,004 or 10,005. But look at this fake out right here, and this is all the way to 10,006. So um, for a breakout entry, guys, I don't know. I wouldn't be playing breakout. I'd be looking to buy supports for entry, so 10,000 to 9,800 is where I'm looking to enter. Um, and below 9,800, I'm looking to get out, and I'm looking to probably to short because if if we go below this, we're looking at probably like 9,500, 9,100, 9,000 uh, areas as our target. Um, so as you guys can see on in the, on this on the daily and the four hour charts there is a bear flag guys so this is a bear flag usually what happens when there's a big drop like this or there's a, a big shoot up um, in either direction uh, it consolidates for a bit before continuing down okay so that's a very very common pattern where it'll just drop, 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 then consolidate for a little bit, and then continue its drop down. So we can see a we can see a continuation here, uh, back down to 9,000. So we have to be ready for that. Um, I would be setting uh, shorts below 9,800, um, and that's what I'd be playing right now. Uh, that's that's pretty much it with that uh, other than that we just gotta we just gotta watch you know what I mean so uh, so you could potentially be trying to enter at support between 98 to 10,000 um, and if you see it drop under 9800 then you want to just kind of uh, short it you want to go in the opposite direction um, and that's pretty much it for Bitcoin right now at the moment uh, we'll, we're gonna do a more in-depth uh, market analysis when we live stream in a couple days um, as you can see here on ethereum we're basically looking at the same exact pattern remember all altcoins are going to be following Bitcoin during big moves like that so this is also a bear flag here uh, we could definitely see a, a continuation down uh, to possibly you know the 300 range um or even further down if if we see that con that bear flag flag continuation um i wouldn't be looking to enter anything right now um it's just so risky i'd be looking to play probably breakouts uh so the breakout for ethereum is 360 so i'd be looking placing an order a breakout order up there uh if you're looking to enter at a support probably around 330 is a support you can enter to try to climb that up um if you're looking to play the drop the continuation down then under 310 it looks like the level um for a short uh let's check out bitcoin cash bitcoin cash has the same pattern we're probably going to see the same pattern on all these altcoins guys uh drop it's a drop consolidation that's a bear flag it's getting tighter so that means that a move should be coming soon um we could definitely see a drop to 200 and maybe even beyond here let me see if i see the next level here so i know the 200 level and then this right here 200 uh 150 maybe so we could see a, a 150 retest if we continue down from this pattern. Um, yeah, if you're looking to enter uh, on the long 220s around the entry um, and to short under 200, I'd be shorting. Uh, Litecoin, same pattern, guys. Bear flag. There is a consolidation and there's a possible continuation down just got to be ready for this in case that happens guys uh xrp same pattern right now uh there's a drop and there's a consolidation we could continue down but the the thing about this is that all of these are going to follow bitcoin so if bitcoin 
doesn't continue down and takes off then these won't will not continue down that's why the main asset that we trade is bitcoin because bitcoin leads the way for everything else so it's the the main one to really look into when at when uh analyzing um link the link is same pattern guys it dropped consolidating um above 13 you could probably enter if you want to enter along it looks like 30 yeah about above 13 dollars um for a short below 10 dollars um same pattern here with tezos just a continuation pattern um it's just gonna follow bitcoin and yeah guys i mean pretty much everything is looking exactly the same so um one thing i do want to note here we're looking at uh bitcoin futures so this is what uh you know professional traders are, are probably trading um there is a gap here you see this gap right here so this gap right here is what most people have been calling for which could be the reason for this drop or one of the one of the reasons is there's never just one reason but um on a technical standpoint um this could be a reason for a drop uh because we had a gap up here in july and we never filled it so um prices tend to always fill gaps when there's a gap like this um so we can we could see you see right here where we are we're consolidating literally right where the gap happened um so if we have a drop we could see a drop to like the 9600 range um so 9800 to 9600 is definitely we might see a fill of this gap right here which would be down to 9600 um before taking back off so um that's kind of what another main thing that we're currently watching right now um and that's pretty much it guys uh everything else is gonna basically look the same everything's gonna follow bitcoin for the most part um so i wanted to keep this one short but i want to make sure to get it out to you guys today um and then we will be doing a live stream i can't do it today uh but we will be doing a live stream with days tomorrow i think possibly tomorrow night tomorrow does start the football season um for those of you that are outside the u.s american football starts tomorrow i am a huge fan um i play fantasy sports for it uh and it's just a ton of fun so i will be watching so if i do stream tomorrow it will be after uh that game which should be around 11 to 12 uh 8, 11 or 12 o'clock eastern standard time so um that's basically it guys uh use those entries that i gave you guys and we'll be watching uh till the next one peace and love